Welcome back to They Said Quotes, the channel dedicated to the remarkable words of the most inspired individuals in the world, and today we're delving into the topic of how you can develop a new habit. Have you ever found yourself wanting to develop a new habit or kick a bad one? Undoubtedly, at some point, you felt a strong desire to make positive changes and to act correctly. However, as you may have realized, this is much harder than it seems. We've all faced failures in achieving what we set out to do, and there's a crucial aspect of the self-improvement process that challenges everyone. That crucial aspect is discipline. How often have you made a plan and committed to a goal only to give in to impulses and revert to your old self after a few days? It's a universal experience, but just because it happens to everyone doesn't make it right. Normalizing mediocrity only invites us to be mediocre, to settle, to lose the will to challenge ourselves in life, and ultimately, to miss out on the possibility of becoming the best version of ourselves. Let me tell you, if you struggle to overcome vices, change habits, or achieve your goals, you probably lack discipline. Discipline is the ability to overcome short-term desires, the enemy of habit change. To change habits, we must develop our discipline. It's simply the act of doing what you must do when you must do it, even when you don't feel like it. In this video, I'll explain why discipline is crucial for excelling in what we set out to do. We'll also discuss why it's becoming increasingly challenging to be disciplined, and I'll provide several tips to work on your discipline. Before we dive in, I appreciate it if you could give the video a like, it helps spread this philosophy to more people. If you don't want to miss any videos, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll also leave links in the description to my other social media, where I share more content on history, advocating self-mastery, and promoting self-examination, self-control, responsibility, and objectivity. All of which help us lead virtuous, fulfilling lives. The disciplined live freely because it gives them the power of choice. In the modern world, people are enslaved by their desires. Those who live as slaves to their desires will likely never recognize it because they believe they are free since they do what they want when they want. However, true freedom is the ability to choose. Who do you think is freer? A lazy person who always sleeps in and never fulfills obligations or someone who wakes up early, always fulfilling their responsibilities. At first glance, it may seem like the lazy person is freer because they do as they please. However, the lazy one lacks the capacity for choice. They live enslaved to laziness, while the discipline, who wake up early and fulfill their responsibilities, have the ability to choose, they can choose to be lazy or responsible. In fact, this choice is available every morning of their life. The disciplined, in their freedom of choice, choose to act with discipline because they know it's the right thing to do. That's true freedom, being able to choose to be responsible when necessary and choose fun and pleasure when responsibilities are fulfilled. The disciplined live freely, while the lazy live enslaved to their laziness, with no possibility of improvement because they live under the illusion of being free or happier. This example applies to any vice you can imagine. Now that we've clarified that discipline makes us freer, let's understand what it really means to be disciplined. Every time we have a goal, whether it's losing weight, building a business, becoming an elite athlete, or an incredible musician, it requires consistent effort. To achieve this effort, we need to overcome our impulses. The ability to act despite the temptation not to is discipline. Being disciplined doesn't mean you'll never feel the desire to relax. It just means you've developed the ability to resist that feeling. The more you resist such impulses, the better you become at doing so in the future. Discipline develops like a muscle. It's also crucial to understand the difference between discipline and motivation. Motivation is a great fuel for getting things done, but it's inconsistent. One day you wake up motivated, and the next day that motivation may be gone. 
So, a person who relies solely on motivation will never be able to make a lasting change in their life or achieve their goals because, as we've seen, it requires constant effort, not just for a few days. However, when you're a disciplined person, the outcome is different. Motivation may help you start, but when motivation fades, discipline takes over. It keeps us moving toward our goal even when we're demotivated. Do you think an elite athlete always feels like training or a successful writer always feels like writing? Does the most successful entrepreneur always feel like working? This is where the difference between those who settle for less and those who strive for improvement appears. Everyone feels like sitting on the couch or lying in bed, but not everyone has the ability to overcome that desire. This is where the disciplined have an advantage, and this is why so many people lack discipline in the modern world. This is happening because life is becoming easier. When survival is at stake, there's no room to neglect responsibilities because your life depends on it. But as life becomes easier, two conditions develop that make cultivating discipline difficult. The first condition is temptation. We're surrounded by more sources of temptation and distraction than ever before, TV and social media, designed to lure us in and keep us engaged. We have the power to do whatever we want through the internet. Never before have humans had so many different possibilities to distract themselves and not work. I'm not saying all these things are bad, but it's in our hands to learn to manage the time we dedicate to all of this. The second condition is the lack of resistance. An easier life offers fewer opportunities to practice discipline. Satisfaction is slowly eliminating chances to practice discipline. We're becoming impatient, and our attention span is decreasing. There's a quote from Seneca that I like because it reflects how an easier life removes opportunities for improvement and discipline. The quote goes, there is no one more unfortunate than the man to whom abundance has made life no test. Unfortunately, the world is eliminating sources of resistance necessary to create discipline. We must understand that comfort is not inherently bad. For the disciplined, it's merely a tool that can be used for good or ill. Using comfort to rest after fulfilling our responsibilities is a good thing, something I encourage. The problem arises with excessive comfort that atrophies our discipline. Everyone loves to sit on the couch and relax. However, discipline is uncomfortable. It's not pleasant because it causes us suffering. But this discomfort is the catalyst for growth. It gives us a sense of development, achievement, and accomplishment. It shows us the limits of our capabilities and allows us to surpass them. So, how do we build discipline? The first step is to find a purpose and define a goal you want to achieve. As mentioned earlier, discipline is like a muscle and must be trained. To grow our discipline, we need to create uncomfortable situations in our lives. Please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all.